public, you're disturbing my peace, and I expect the police chief to do something about this. That guy right there is just about deaf. He's real hard of hearing, but that's not the problem. The problem is that they're running this night shift here during the noise ordinance hours here in Lakeland, Florida, the print shop, building number 10. And I'm just about thoroughly pissed off. I don't care about the corporate office or nobody else. I expect you to enforce the law. I'm a law-abiding citizen. As a matter of fact, if you considered me out of all these folks around here, I'm downright good people. I've been in trouble one time in my life with the law and they didn't have any evidence to support a crime. And what was the charge? Domestic violence without violence 10 years ago. Now if you look it up on sheriff.org, it's credible threat, which is hearsay. Or it could be categorized as freedom of speech if you believe in the Constitution and the United States of America, which they don't. We got all this going on right here and it's disturbing my peace. It's bothering me. If it wasn't bothering me, I wouldn't be standing out here doing this. You guys are out here writing tickets for no headlight on a bicycle harassing people. You're not concerned about people taking pictures of themselves nude and committing sex acts and posting it on a public forum, such as Craigslist. From what I understand, common sense tells me that the police and sheriff department are posting some of those nude pictures on there. That's their form of crime prevention. In the former United States of America, we used to call it entrapment. Now, if I'm mistaken, I'd appreciate you fellas to clue me in on what's going on. It's kind of like what I was telling Officer Baker about taking the anti-acids, man. I've taken the time to learn a few things. And what he's experiencing is quite common and millions of Americans are experiencing it. It's his stomach is not producing enough folic acid, which is not breaking down the food that he eats, which is causing malabsorption. And ultimately, you'll get cancer and you will not live very long. Do you understand English, folks? I dare your ass to look into the shit. You ain't got enough guts to look into a damn thing. None of you do. I don't respect you. It's uh, very discouraging and downright even angers me at times when I tell people, such as my neighbors on each side of me, that care about little when they're both over 130 pounds overweight and they don't realize that they have candida, microscopical organisms living in them. They continue to eat the bread and the sugar and the pasta and the potatoes, soda pop and pizza and all this junk food. Don't know what a vegetable is. They look like shit and they feel like shit.
one of them thinking negative thoughts all the time. And the other one's got two men living in his house. He works for Publix. He doesn't care if his tenant peeps over the fence and stares at my wife. He doesn't care if he called the fire truck to me five times for burning a fire in a barrel. And like Officer Williams told him of LPD, Lakeland, Florida, it's not against the law to burn a small fire in a 50 gallon barrel steel drum, buddy. So quit calling, right? Yes, I've got a lot to say to you guys, man. Forgive me if somebody rambles on true and real knowledge to you. I know you're not used to it. Goodness knows very few people around here got any sense. Yes, lock the gate, man. By all means, somebody might have to get out of there. Cuckoo's nest over there. You know why they call it the graveyard shift? Why they call it the graveyard shift? Because people that stay up all night and don't sleep like they're supposed to be at nighttime, they die early. very unhealthy to stay up all night and work when you're supposed to be in bed. God did not create you to do this. But you didn't know that, did you? Just like you don't know to cook your meat well done to keep you from getting salmonella or E. coli. But in fact, you're really not supposed to be eating meat at all. Because you weren't created to eat meat. It, what it does is it generates bad bacteria in your stomach, which shortens the lifespan and quality of your life as well. Yes, I've become quite an expert on these issues. No thanks to you, heroes, and the government. No thanks to you whatsoever. I learned it late in life thanks to you and these people here they think it's all right for them to break the law because they've got publics on their side right they can do anything they want to do man render my property value useless or I couldn't even sell this place Well, until next time. God bless you.